trigonometry skills test. Now I've gone through and I've just put the answers in for the easier, the core questions, just so you can check them. And I'll show appropriate working and reasoning for the slightly harder questions using these same skills. So find the value of a ratio of an angle with a calculator. When we're measuring angles and we have parts of angles, oh sorry, parts of degrees, fractions of a degree, we don't tend to use decimals as they have here, 42.73 degrees. Degrees are divided up into minutes and seconds, and there's 60 minutes in a degree in the same way as there's 60 minutes in an hour. So if you've given a question which is in degrees and minutes, you might need to be able to interpret that or type it into your calculator. So it'd be really easy to find sine of 37 degrees. We'd just type in sine 37 equals, and we get 0 0.62 if we've rounded correctly. But sine of 37 degrees, 41 minutes, we actually need to use the degrees symbol. And we use this button here, second function and angle. 37, second function, angle, and there's a degrees sign at one. Ta-da! Then 41 minutes, second function, angle, and at two, there's minutes. So we can enter 37 degrees, 41 minutes, and I totally didn't put sign before that, so sign of 37 degrees, 41 minutes, brackets, and enter. 0.611. Label the sides of a triangle if alpha is the angle. We have theta and alpha, but they want alpha to be the angle, so that's opposite, adjacent, hypotenuse. Find sine, cos, and tan of theta from a triangle, just the ratio as a fraction. Write the ratio, or oh, label our sides. Now we're finding them for um, theta, opposite, adjacent, hypotenuse. Sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse equals B over C. Opposite over adjacent, B over A. I shouldn't have used capitals there because it was lowercase there. Sorry about that. Finding an unknown side. This is just trickier because there's decimals, but really follow our steps. Here's my angle. Label the sides. Adjacent hypotenuse. Choose your ratio. That's cos of the angle is adjacent over hypotenuse. Substitute in your values. Rearrange. It's D divided by 18.41. We'll multiply by 18.41. By showing correct working, it gets me to the point where I know exactly what I need to type into my calculator before I do it. And underneath there, We need units, they didn't give us units, pop it in. Finding an unknown angle, find both angles. Now when I say using trigonometry, that's a bit misleading because we use trig for the first angle, then we can just use the angle sum of a triangle for the second angle. Choose which one you're going to label it based on, we might as well do theta, because we have two angles marked. Label our sides opposite, adjacent, hypotenuse. The fact that I've got all three sides says I can use whichever ratio I like. We've used sine and cos, let's use tan, but I could choose anything. Still the same steps, write the ratio, substitute in the values, including theta. We don't know it, we leave it as theta. 
I have tan theta equals opposite over, sorry, 3 over 4. I need theta on its own to get rid of tan. I do inverse tan. So when you see an unknown angle and you're working, you know you'll be using second function or inverse of the ratio. Sorry about squeezing my working in there. I've written down what it is that I need to do before I do it. Second function tan, 3 over 4. Use the arrow key to get out of the fraction. Close your bracket. Degrees generally go to the nearest, sorry, angles generally go to the nearest degree. So 36.86 will be 37 degrees. Finding an unknown side. Now if we're finding both sides, we've got a couple of options. We can use trigonometry for one and then use Pythagoras for the other, or we can just use trigonometry for both. It is up to us. But we do. So let's start with finding y, but it wouldn't matter. Opposite adjacent hypotenuse. Opposite and hypotenuse will be using sine. I'm just going to like write, write y there so I know I'm finding y. I know what I'm doing. It's a good idea. If you're finding several things in a row, say what you're finding. Finding y. If I had more space, I'd be a little bit more careful about it. Write the ratio. Substitute your values. Rearrange. Wait a minute. Well, this is a really dumb question because I, it doesn't actually match the skill. That's the problem. Do make sure you get this right. And if you're not sure how, double check how to find your unknown side with the denominator. Sorry about that. 13.7 times sine 26.5 degrees equals y. Type that into your calculator. y equals 6.11. Now, if you're going to be using that value to find the other side, you would keep more decimal places. Or if you were just going to use trigonometry to find this side, you wouldn't have to worry about it. But remember, if you're rounding a value and you're going to use it for some mathematics later on, keep more decimal places than you need. So I would write this one down to four decimal places if I needed my end answer to two decimal places. So to find x from that one, we could then use Pythagoras. c squared equals a squared plus b squared. I'm going to run out of space here. My working is going to look so messy. I'm sorry. Getting an answer there. Oops. Don't round to two decimal places. If you must round, round to two more than you need. I'm going for two decimal places, so I'm keeping four decimal places. And find the square root. I'm sorry, my working is so messy in here. That's in centimetres. I can give that one to two decimal places, that one to two decimal places, and I know I've kept enough accuracy. And word problems. 
this is my angle, I need to find it. Opposite over adjacent, we have tan. Units are different. Convert one so it's in the same units as the other. Write the ratio. to the nearest degree. Eight hundred divided by three thousand. Notice how we get a decimal. It's worth noting that if it asks four degrees and minutes, you could do second function angle. Scroll down until you got to DMS, degrees, minutes, seconds, and hit enter. 14 degrees, 55 minutes. And the arrow key would, would change it back to a decimal for you, 14.93. We're going to the nearest degree, 15 degrees.